Hey guys, this is Jame Wong. This is from the Microsoft Resources Tech Team. A few questions came up recently regarding the floating license for Chaos Groups' V-Ray. So I thought this might be useful. I'm going to walk through the process from downloading the executable to getting the license on the dongle working for your entire network. So here is a quick installation of the V-Ray file that I got from Chaos Group. Just double click the executable. Click next, agree, agree. I'm just gonna install the license server on this workstation. You have options to install the max render slave, the standalone render. Just click next. I'm not gonna include the register V-Ray license service, just the reboot key drivers. Next, next, and next. Finish. The reboot key setup, you can just pre pretty much click next for all of these. And click next. It'll take a minute over here to install the drivers, register it with Windows. And once that is done, you just want to click next. Like now. Click uncheck README, there's no point. Click finish, click OK. There's one little thing you need to do since I'm running on a Windows 7 64 bit. You have to go to the Weeboo website, weeboo.com, and go into the downloads area, search for English Windows 64 bit. And what you want is the Weeboo key for users. So there's two versions 3264 and just the 64. Since I'm just using it on a 64 bit machine, it's about 14 megs. Click download. Save, put on my desktop, and install. This is about the same process as before. Click next, click next, create the folder, click next, next. Pretty much straightforward here. And this will install the drivers for 64 bit Weeboo systems for the USB dongle. For V Ray, V Ray for Rhino, V Ray for Max, V Ray for all the other stuff. Alright, make sure this gets finished and click next. Uncheck README, click finish, click OK. You'll see an icon on your taskbar and that's the Weeboo key server, the network server. I'm just going to right click that and click start server. The icon changes. Now I'm going to start the V-Ray licensing. Before that, I'm just going to double check that it's found by USB dongle. I have one dongle here, so it's good. Click on the start menu, click on programs, chaos, V-Ray, licensing. Launch V-Ray for licensing. You notice another new icon pops up. That's the V-Ray icon in the taskbar. Double click it, there's not too many options there. Next item to do is to double check that your V-Ray and your dongle is talking to each other. By going to the browser, type in HTTP localhost port 30304 and you'll have a link get status of the server. You see that I have no licenses here. Um, so how do you get a license? You scroll all the way down and click on a link to upgrade your licenses. Click here. It will generate a WBC file give it a couple of seconds and once that file is generated what we're going to do is right click it like so and we're going to save it to our desktop click save, click close and send an email to vray at chaosgroup.com and attach that WBC file and subject line just like vray license request a quick little note, you might want to include your company name and any invoice information as well. Smiley face, hit send, and that's it. You wait a couple of hours or maybe a day. What they're going to do is send you this email. This email actually has your licenses that you already purchased. Um, this is a zip file. Save it on my desktop, double click. Extract. There's a file there called RTU. Just double click it and click yes. 
and it'll write to the dongle and you now have the appended licenses so just to verify I'm just going to close out of that and start up Internet Explorer go to localhost 30304 Status. I now only bought two licenses, um, so that's that. And my licenses are there. And if you need to add more licenses, you follow the same process to get the WBC file. Get the WBC file and email it to vray at chaos group, and they'll send you the RTU file with the new licenses. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Be sure to check out my blog and YouTube channels for other tips and tricks. Until next time, this is Jane Wong signing out.